tigers and bears. And the first thing um, I tried to do was just start off with basic shapes. So I kind of made this vertical rectangular shape first. I taped it off and then applied um, the orange color. And then after that dried, I applied this black texture, which is concrete trial patch, in which I covered the entire orange. Um, then I just scraped away to expose different shapes. I came over and did a simple pour with polyurethane. When I paint, I just try to search for an image. I don't start out particularly knowing what I'm going to paint. So I'm always in search and constant search of the image. Some of my influences are um, a lot of older artists, Jean Michel Basquiat. Mark Rothko really um, is a big influence just because he kind of worked, like he didn't care about line, color, and form. He was more concerned with the emotional connection with his viewers. One of his books was The Artist's Reality. I think his work gets kind of misunderstood a lot just because they're so colorful. They are beautiful, but there's a lot of other things that are going on, you know, that deal with the emotional aspect, the human aspect of, uh, of art. My process, I'm not that conventional when it comes to <laughs> painting and my process. Um, I start off big, so, and then I kind of get smaller and more focused as I go. So I'll usually start off, I'll have like maybe, I don't know, 10, 10 panels down on the floor. I'll just sew them out and um, I'll kind of just jump from one to the other. It just gets more and more minute, you know, as I get further into the process. I think you just have to be able to um, have an ability to edit. You know, because as artists, you can you can beat a painting to death. You can go on and on and on. You're an artist, a writer, and write forever. You have to get to that point where you find clarity. I call it clarity. I, that's another um, term that I got from Rothko. What I want when I view my art is to just put aside all your preconceived notions about what art is and just be with the work. Art is like a universal language. We all know it. You know, it's just instinctually within us. It doesn't matter what you're going into. You have to have an imagination. You have to keep that creative side. If you want to be an accountant, a scientist, you have to know how to think outside of the box. And I think that um, seeing work like this and just going through here today and I've seen all the artwork, it just, it really feels good to see like things that are not traditional, you know, because I just think that it makes people really think, use their creative and imaginative, imaginative imagination, so. <laughs> you know, to, to think about, it, it's not just a pretty picture on the wall, it really speaks to the human spirit. Mm -hmm, exactly. And so that's why, in my mind, it's always political, yeah. because that's what the human spirit is. Mm -hmm. yeah. So to have the students be able to engage in that way, it really does mean that's, that's what liberal right. education yes. is. always been you know right in my corner and you know really putting my work out there so very big thank you to Grand Valley. Mm -hmm.